Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Blood Forge Gaming. Same uh, recording session today, so if you guys left any comments about yesterday from me, I have not seen them yet. Or today, whichever day it is. My days blend together, honestly. Quarantine does that to you. YouTubing life does that to you. Let's get back to it, don't we? So, Convey. <coughs> Convey? Convoy. Yes, we already read this in the last one, but yes. Home screen to, uh, for your loot boxes. Home screen to recruit new troops as they're available. I need more? A lot more, because we're going to die a lot. Let's customize the use and launch new missions. Thank you for playing uh, Gears of Tactics. Oh, yeah, this is a pre order bonus. Get uh, Joshua Cole in Act 1, Chapter 4. And let's open our loot box. What do we got? Common is Retro Lancer Mod. Plus 7% accuracy for minus 1 ammo? I, I, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm already using all my ammo, so probably going to pass on that. I, I, I might put it. I don't. I don't know. Well, Red Triangle and Barracks will equip new upgrades. So, can I... Barracks. Escape. That was a... Oh, so the more kills you get, the more you level up. So, I may want to prioritize my... Units. So, you have 20% evasion, just... Just base, have, having that around. And then you have more health. Is that based upon your class? Or your abilities? Items? Okay, skill tree 2, I'll go with that in a minute, second here. Okay, well, back. Primary weapons. Oh, cosmetics, patterns, ooh, okay. Sid Redburn's Retro Lancer. I don't think I can change out their weapons. So, in the basic Gears game, you could, like, pick up other weapons and add them to your, like, pool of items to use. But I think in this one, it's not something you can do. Burials modifications, so... This is the hair trigger one. When this, <clears throat> when this unit uses the shoot ability, it gains 5% chance to shoot the same target again. This effect does not occur if the weapon does not have enough ammo. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I think it's only for the Retro Lancer. We'll check that out. Uh, I, I, look, I'll, I'll use it for a mission. Not gonna lie, though. That seems to be really, really not great. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I, I apologize. I, I can't. That's... That four ammo, I feel like I'm using that every single round. Let's do it once. Once once time. One time. This is, this, this is the decisiveness you look for in these games, ladies and gentlemen. Magazines. Plus one ammo? Now that... That I can get behind every single time. Like range of ten meters compared to the six for this. Damage is a little bit higher. Critical chance is much higher. Crit damage is base. Okay. And barrels. Hair trigger again? Yeah, absolutely. I love how the gun actually changes that. So, that is really cool. Colors, cosmetic. Is there a crimson? There's a crimson, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, look. we have You have the main character. I gotta customize this guy a little bit here. Battered. Oh, the rustic look is awesome. Oh, chrome. Painted steel. Tank metal. Tank. I, I, loved, I love the tank metal look. Tank metal look. It's going to go through there. Patterns. Okay, camouflage. Ooh. Forest hex. Quill rope shadow. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the base one for now just to show up more of that crimson there. Metals are is fine. Got a little customization. So, there's that. The snuff pistol, which... Factory... Factory base? It's just... It's just a type of snub pistol. Of course, because, you know, we're doing what we do. Not going to go too, mo too much more than that. Helmet. Honey helmet will keep his bonuses active. So, if you like the, you know, the look of your guy, then don't worry about it. No helmet available. Cosmetics. That's accents. Metals. Upper armor. Show accessories. Oh. Take out the wrists. Cadet, which lowers the evasion. Veteran's Armor, which is... Want the difference in evasion or just flat HP? Regulation Armor, 10%. I don't know which is better. Like, 10% lower chance for enemies hitting us seems to be nice, but if we get hit by grenades or whatnot, it seems to be a bit better. Uh, I'm just... Oh, Sid is using this. Never mind. Never mind. So that's where his base HP is going up. That makes sense. Cool. So let's get the crimson going on there and accent colors. 
Ooh, actually, I think crimson on that one and then ash gray on that one. Or the other way around. I'm not going to do this for everybody. Just, you know, you got the main guy. You got you to gotta, you gotta sweep him up a little little bit. You just got to throw, throw what you, like, what your guy's going to want to look like in there. Where's, there no, there's no tank in here? Oh, I want to make my main guy a tank. Painted steel, alloy, worn chrome. Worn steel. Painted steel. Gun metal. Gun metal, sure. Okay. Once again, not gonna do this for everybody, just the main guy. So we're gonna do accent color is crimson. The base color will be ash gray. Dark brown. No gray. Checking out. Checking out. Ranger is equipped on there. And Ranger is like the black. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do on that, because yes, 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 yes. I love that drum barrel, by the way. Okay, and grenades. I don't think he could equip right now. Oh, he can equip the frag grenade. Uh, I'll keep Stim on now, because that seems to be his specialization. But the frag grenade is probably gonna be really useful if we have any more eagles. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go to our, our support tree. Your units spend skill points as they level up. Spend skill points to unlock new passives and active skills. You get reset tokens by completing campaign missions. Spending a reset token will refund a unit's skill points. Oh, so unlike XCOM, this is more of just a, hey, you have set missions over the course of the game, and then those are the missions you'll be playing. It's not like you go out and do random stuff. Okay, okay. I'll get behind it. I'm new to it. Surgeon. Paragon, Strategist, and Combat Medic. Alright, well, I'm kind of looking for Strategist. Let's go to the end of the, of the tree here, just to see what they're going to give us. High Power Shot is further, has cooldown further reduced by one turn. All the target skills and abilities are refreshed. It's not, does not refresh the search skill. Search skill. When this unit misses a shot, can 20% accuracy this turn. Shoot a 50% damage boost. Oh, 50%? That's insane. You change the ability cooldown to reduce by one each turn. That's actually really nice. Target ally gets one action. Oh, I give my action to give somebody else one action. Okay. This unit's command is triggered. Each ally gets 5% crit hit chance this turn. Ooh, that's nice. Command has a healing effect increased to 7%. Target ally gets one action and 20% damage this turn. Two actions and 20% damage this turn. Each unit reloads and gets 50% damage this turn. Each... Unit? Oh. Teamwork cooldown reduced by one. Maximum amount of actions granted to three. Oh, okay. We're going Paragon. I normally go Renegade. Yes, that was a Mass Effect reference. I apologize. I gotta, I gotta throw it in there where I can. Paragon seems to be really, really cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, the lifesteal, though. Each ally heals for percent. I, okay. This is Bloodforge Gaming. I know. I, I love the lifesteal and all that stuff. Heal each ally for... Okay. But, like... Come on, lock and load. Every unit reloads and gets 50% damage from this turn. Like, if I gotta do a boss fight and I gotta burn that thing down, I wanna burn that thing down. More action points for the people in the right position. Yeah, we're gonna go this way. So, target ally gets one action. So you turn cooldown. Sacrifice my action for the reaction. And I get one more, right? Yep. This unit kills an ally, kills an enemy. I didn't look over this way, I apologize. Heal target ally for 200 in your turn. Yeah, da, 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 da. Oh, that's actually pretty, that's actually pretty cool. But no, no, we're gonna go this way. Let's use command to each ally gets 5% crit hit chances turn. Chainsaw abilities reduce by one. We're gonna go Paragon. That's just, oh. When this unit kills an enemy with a chainsaw attack, it gets one action. Oh, that's actually really nice. But I, I kind of want to rush that. Um, okay, so chainsawing just seems to be a big thing that we're going to do on this class. So that's probably why you can't change weapons, is because this class is tied to the weapon. That's usually how these are done. That makes sense. Kills him with the chainsaw ability, gains one action. Command is triggered. Uh, da, 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 da. This would be pretty good, depending on how many people we can get in a squad. Not sure. Probably going to be four? Four to six, something like that. And we use da, 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 da. I'm so indecisive. These all look really cool. Like I, I love that in the game where it's just like I don't know like the one I wanted to get more than anything else. Um but ch -ch 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 -ch. Yeah, because when we kill an enemy, heal each ally for four percent. Okay. Okay. 
sorry, I am super decisive at this point. I'm just going to take the... Um, Yeah, we're gonna take the chainsaw ability. We'll start going down the paragon path there. Alrighty, Sid. Alright, Paladin. Down to allies within 10 meters are revived. Allies within 10 meters get 50% damage reduction until they start your next turn. With 8 meters getting leech on this turn. Use with leech heal 40% of the damage dealt with their shots. Oh. Hmm. We went pretty, uh. I'm pretty supporty on our main commander going down the Paragon path. Only makes sense, right, to go down the Paladin. Look, I even just looked at this thing and I'm like, that looks amazing. Like, Leech looks to be really good. It's one action point, heals everybody in the area. Affects some of this units regenerative skill reply to each ally within 5 meters. Get 6% evasion, that's going to be pretty nice. Again, oh, you get super early on. Enemies targeted by this unit's shot ability gets weakened stats effect. You know, so we can deal 10% damage for one turn. I, I mean, I've been using a boss. Because I know there are bosses in this game. That's one thing I was told early on. That's like a thing I need to be like be concerned with. Uh, do I go super defensive, though? I don't know. Select an, a target ally in cover. Target gains 40% evasion. Target may take no actions this turn. Uh, wait. That sounds horrible. I mean, 40% evasion is really nice if you're not dying. Because I don't want you to die, but... That sounds horrendous. Can I use it, like, at the end of their turn? Hydration has a feeling effect increase to 15. And each ally gains 20% damage reduction for this turn. Uh, you know, see Ooh, Leech. Just, just on him. I might just go that, though. I'm gonna slowly hover over these. If you guys want to pause the video and check them out, go right ahead for it. Damage reduction against the first attack every turn. <laughs> this unit doesn't now say at the beginning of your turn, it just, it just self revives. That's awesome. Distraction. Here, let's try to affect this unit on the next turn. Does not affect bosses. See? Bosses. Confirmed. What shock. It was in 10 meters. Removed from cover and interrupted. And interrupted? Okay, Paladin sounds cool. The whole leech thing is kind of like a nice life but I might want to go a bit more aggressive. Okay. Because he's a shock troop, right? I want him to be up close in the range. You also need to be up close in the range. Grandpa said, though. Grandpa said, though. Bayonet charge is reduced down. I really haven't used that bayonet charge very often, not gonna lie, because a lot of them just seem to be immune to it. Or want to push me back. Shoot. The target is hit. Interrupts and lose all positive stats effects. It's not effect bosses. Oh. Breach. Enemies who down or kill breach. Enemies can watch the point and heal 20% of their maximum HP. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Oh, okay, that's actually pretty cool. Shock Trooper seems to be pretty nice just to get up in their faces and just murder everybody, then, like, shock them away. Oh, Executioner, less than 50% health, more damage on you. Shoot with a damage boost. When the right fire gains 20% crit chance. Hemorrhage. Because a critical hit enemy, enemy receives will be the status effect. Hmm. Okay, I just can't get over just Papa Sid, just watching her back, scurrying over all of us. Leech is actually really nice, though. Okay. So, we can just... Uh, it's a passive. I'll admit, it's a passive. It looks cool. I'm going to take the hunker down. Just tech, just, just because I want to save my units. If I have a unit that I've invested a lot into, I want to save them down. Plus, I want to see if I can use it at the end of their turn when they don't have anything else going on there. It just costs them, what, one action? Yeah, one action. And regeneration has a healing effect increase of 15%. I'm going to take the leech. I'm probably gonna go down the Paragon path, not gonna lie, but Leech just seems to be such a good pass. If I could get Leech on, every, on all my guys, I definitely would. This is Bloodforge Gaming, after all. We gotta, you know, life steals amazing. So, left behind. Complete the mission without a gear being down or killed. I'm so glad I took a lot of defensive stats on this one. It's gonna take an army to kill Ukon. He sounds like a monkey, by the way. But Prescott refuses to send support. Head to the nearest forward operating base and recruit more gears. Excellent. Which gives us... Three common weapon mods and one common armor mod. But no modifiers. That's going to be terrifying. Let's do this. Now, the normal operating procedure for the, for the continuing forward of the game is I'm pretty much going to start the episode with just going into the mission. So you don't have to see all that going on there. And power and hunker down. Cool. 
Can, can't edit them anymore. We got the stuff on here. Did I take the mod? Wait, I did take the ammo mod on you. I may regret this. He's a paladin, right? Okay, let me just, uh... There we go. I got a little, a little bit of a uh, little good old like white and blue, good old paladin looking at, I, like icons in there. That way I can remember from my little brain power what exactly these guys are doing. Power gain, yes, yes, yes. Let's go. The pal Why'd you put a leech on paladin? Because leech is so good. Life All steal. There's a ghost town now, so our recruiting options are thin. Our best bet for gears is Echo 5, a mop up unit stationed nearby. Let's pay him a visit. So yes, every like life seal is just a thing I I go for every single game because it's so good. Act one, chapter two. Left behind. Do we ever get to shoot out of this thing? Is it like a cannon or something? No, did it, it does? Well, it's a minigun. Do this whole platoon for our little grub hunt. That won't go down easy. Don't you worry. Been working on my recruiting pitch. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Hopefully it's a good one. Up ahead. And we got two. That's a shotgun. Listen up. Good speech. Everybody in one piece? We're looking for Echo 5. That's us, sir. Grubs just ambushed our unit half a click up the road. Came out of nowhere. All right, you're with us now. Let's go find your people. Sure as hell hope there's a squad left to recruit. I mean, our numbers has doubled, so I'm not going to complain too much. A little bit. Oh, and the pose, the lineup. Let's go. You guys survive, I'll customize you guys too. Yes, I did get a little bit gold in the patches. No one's left. Let's check out the ambush site. See if there's any sign of those gears. Won't trigger overwatch. That's good to know. Okay. Oh, loot box over here. Just gotta survey the battlefield real quick. Gotta make sure you know exactly. That is a huge map. Um, that is an absolutely gargantuan map. Where am I? All the way back here. This is going to be a long one. Loot box there. Oh, wait, that blue. Okay, we got to grab that loot box. Sure. Um, a lot more cover over this way. And we got to move over here. Okay, so we have a little two support. A little two vanguard. Oh, Tyrone Wolf Shepherd with the Mulcher, my man. You uh you need to survive. Yep. Spectre with the Nasher. That a cloak? That's a cloak. No passes. Alright, well you're not as impressive right now, but I'm sure we'll get around right. to that. She's probably if, she, if anybody dies, it's probably gonna be her. Not gonna lie. The channel is an equal opportunity murderer at this point, so I just can't guarantee. Well, you're a scout. <sighs> is your vision higher than anybody else? No. Guess I'll just uh, try to just eke out as much as I can. On my way. She can cloak, right? So she can get herself out of trouble. Grubs are still here. Take them out. Should have left when you had the chance, assholes. Oh, well, he's deep in cover, and um, hmm. Want to send somebody over that way? Okay. What do you do? Wolf. Anchor. When this unit shoots, it gains one stack of anchored status effects to a maximum of three stacks. Units with anchored get 10% accuracy and 50% damage per stack. Units lose anchored if they move. That makes so much sense. But with the Mulcher, because the Mulcher pulls like a charge up weapon that you had to use over and over and over again. It, oh, excuse me. It has five ammo inside of it. So yeah, we just want to find a good area for this guy to just bunker down and shoot. Now, this guy's a little bit far away. I do want to get an overwatch up a little bit because he's probably going to move up to us. But I think this is one of the few classes that I'm 
Yeah. This is one of the few classes that I'm alright with just spending all three points getting them up into a position. Because I want them to be in a good position because they're probably not going to be moving from that position for a while. Scout on standby. Okay, that's three of them. Here. I'm going to move you up to probably a little over here. That way I can get a bit of a flanking shot on them. Is he? Can he see them? I actually can't check on him. That's a little disappointing. Get a bit of a flank over here. Let's empower... Um, yeah. Empower him just so we can get a shot and start building up those stacks. Or just get an overwatch back, on him. Soldier. Yep. Yeah. If they want to move up to this cover, I want to encourage them to do that. You can only see this way? Well. Let's try to do that. He has a hand hold cover, so it should be f somewhat fine. Her! His unit, gets a, <clears throat> unit gets a hidden satisfact until your, your next turn. Enemies with hidden are invisible to enemies. Hidden is removed by skills and interactions. It won't trigger Overwatch. It does it use an, It does use an action point. Oh, if you were free, I'd be more happy. Unfortunately, you're at the point where you can get flanked pretty easily. But I actually do think I will just use this right... Do I just use it right now? He's there. She can move. Uh, can she move over here? No, that's the edge of the map. She will just stop here, unfortunately. Uh, I, I'm just going to move her back around because she's going to get flanked too easily and die. Scouts do not have a very good lifespan within my army. Just going to put that forward right now. For anybody thinking otherwise. I don't have a vision on any of them yet. Okay. So they're going to aim for this guy. If I use it on him. Unit may take no action this turn. Won't trigger uh, Overwatch. This turn. Uh, I don't want to experiment right now. I'll have to use that in the near future. Let's get Overwatch on him. Vision's not great. I've got Overwatch. Is there? But I, cause I'm wondering if that will actually turn off his ability to Overwatch if he if I use that on him. He's heading back? That's fine. Okay, he did get one shot into there. Tyrone hit hit him twice, it seems. Oh yeah, because he had one action in there. That's four of them. Hunkered hunkered. Make it count! Hunkered. Unit gains four percent evasion. This unit loses hunkered if it leaves cover. Which would have been really good with the shock trooper. Standing by. How's this looking? Oh, that's a glorious. He's gonna be really close to dying, actually. Next turn cooldown. Ah, what if it emo homer just? This is. This is the, co the cost paralysis you're going to have in this game of just, oh, do I need to worry about the e-hole or do I just murder them? Is any one of them being overwatched right now? Uh, let's go over here and do this. I'm, I don't want to sit thinking, what if, what if, half the game. Is he dead? 7 HP. Well, ready. how scouty. Ooh, she can go up here and get the kill. Pretty easily. How about you, buddy? 33% chance. Now, I expect that out of him. Range of obstructions. Luckily, though, I'm just going to keep grinding this gun out. And it should just keep rising on us. Right? Oh, we actually got a partial hit. See? Yep, yep. So now we have two stacks on here. It's going to be up to 43. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. And then let's just do another overwatch on the area. So if they want to come up and rescue him, we'll just shoot them. Use him as bait. Okay, I like this class quite a bit. You and my lady can go up to here. Finish him off. If we have the overwatch there, they should be able to get to her. Com struck ahead. We want to find the rest of Echo 5. That's where we start looking. Did not see you, actually. 90%. Pl please don't miss. Do I use a shotgun or do I just use a pistol? I think I'm just going to use a pistol. 
Yeah, pistol. Because shock, uh, shotgun. This is actually going to be, it's, it's different for her. Because this is her short range weapon, this is her long range weapon. Normally I'm just like, oh, I don't want to waste the good ammo for the bad ammo. In her case, it's just like, this is her short range weapon. Please don't miss. It's a 90. That's a 90! Okay. Ooh, and the empowered ability is off right now. I'm here. Mm-mm. Yeah. Um. That's a lot of obstructions on the way. Oh, buddy. Ooh, not good. Not good at all. Moving. Sixty-two. Come on, this needs to hit. <gasps> oh, and a sigh of relief goes out from the crowd. Hair trigger, five percent. Chainsaw ability. Chainsaw ability cooldown is reduced by one. This. Oh, we, okay. So I need to use chainsaw a lot more often on him. I need to remember that. Let's move up to here. Let's give us full cover. Two action points going into here. And I definitely want to grant cover. That's such a long range shot. 10%. 16 to finish that off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to do a... Uh... They want to run up and save him. I'm just going to use that to just discourage it and see what they do. Hunkered has lost. Shots were, were fired over there. Two partial hits going into our crowd there. They did kill their own guy, unfortunately. Showtime, people. Ready. Okay, scouts, you are in a bit of a pickle. This is a good time to use cloak. Reporting in. Let's look for a heavy first. What shots can you make, buddy? 25, 20, 10. Yeah, he's, uh... Hmm. I don't think Hunker really works for you. That will kill two individuals. It does get rid of my execution target, which I'm really wanting him to get up here and take care of. All right, I know I have this here. I might come back for that. Chainsaw. Execution. I can do that. Not exactly a great idea. It's going to get a tech kick two. Uh, two. And then what am I going to do about this guy? On standby. Because your grenade is down for the foreseeable future. Hmm. I can have her cloak. You. Go around and shoot him in the back. It does give up the loot box, though. I like my loot box. Well, okay. Can I go back for the loot box? That's a blue. Blue seems to be pretty high priority for me. I got the heavy go around and get that. This is what, yeah, these are gonna kill me. Let's go for the cloak. Where can she go? Two action points. This does get her behind. Removed by skills and interactions. <laughs> Which I'm guessing is definitely this. Yeah, this lets her slide in here, because normally she'd only stop here, but slide Wilco. here. Oh. 62 to get this guy. Crit chance is pretty interesting. I could have her go execute. Could have had her go execute. But then she would have been shot by this guy as she did the execution, so... Not a great idea. Frag grenade could be... Oh. But then she'll be shot by this guy. Unless I have heavy go deal with that. Oh, we have a plan. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a plan. All right, frag grenade from the darkness. Does it interrupt, though? Ah, uh, does it interrupt, though? That's a guaranteed kill on him, but I need to get the guy in the back. Target obstructed, flanking, base crit chance. This removes... Okay. So her doing that removes that obstruction. He can go up here, get a chainsaw on this guy. He'll be exposed. 
which is not great. Standing by. He can then move up and do his retro lance. Okay, we have a plan. We have a plan. We have a plan. Okay. Disabling shot. Fire. This needs to kill. Okay, now. The plan has failed within three seconds of execution. Alrighty, now she's exposed to the world. Maybe not great. Not a comment I thought I'd be saying in the immediate vicinity. So let's go up here. Let's do... Let's do this. It'll get me grenade being tossed out. He does get rid of our execution target, which I really wanted well to murder. Played. Okay, you're bunkered, right? What's the chance of you disabling? 58 is not bad. Let's do that. Please don't miss. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Wolf. You are a welcome addition. How's that command ability? One turn on the cooldown. Chainsaw with the Lancer on this guy. Can't do that. Let's do Chainsaw on this guy. Leaving the loot box behind. Yeah. Grubs caught these gears by surprise. Probably shouldn't have triggered that yet. Not gonna lie. Okay. So if I wanted to have to have him move up there, he could do it. Let's go way. here. And then I'm gonna bayonet charge the rest. And We start running over here to get the loot. Anchored is lost. Don't trigger anything. Round one's down, but the drugs aren't out yet. Oh, buddy. Um, 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 that's eight. That's eight. And, and an e-hole? Fudge! Oh! Jeez. Um. Okay, buddy, you need to grab this now. And there's a tower. I want the heavy in the tower. On my way. Standing by. Okay. Let's do it. You have. You don't have a grenade. You don't have a grenade. You have a grenade. Lady, you have just been promoted to uh, e-hole reduction duty because as an e-hole and I want to have reduction in its lifetime. She does have a shotgun too, so probably having her in top this gap is a lot better. Uh, can she get there? No, no, she has to stop here. And she can't go over that if need be for the, yes. You got it. How we go here? Where? That's a lot of them. Honestly, we're just gonna just gun this area right here because that's three of them coming to murder us rapidly. On the lookout. I don't care about the flanking because they're only gonna come for the melee anyway. Uh, he has an obstruction right here. That's gonna cause some problems. Do I just get him? Because uh, I want them to go this way. I want them to think that the best path to get to him is here. But they are seem, seem like the best path for him to get here is through this way. So I think it's worth doing this get up, to get here. And covering this angle of death. I got this area. Please don't no. flank. Here comes the e-hole. Can't do anything about that. <sighs> Yes, I know there's two loot boxes behind me. Not a big fan of that. That's three of them popping out of there, which is probably going to be a three every blade turn. Oh, and they move. And they shoot. Oh, and you're going to have an Overwatch thingy on me? All right, come. Come and die. Come, come and die. Man heal. Thank you for that. Oh, he's really moving up. 
Oh, there's more coming. Alrighty. Enemy reinforcements incoming. Oh, game. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, you're all okay. Okay, alrighty. You know, you just have been downed or killed. That is gonna change. Okay. Wickly. Yeah. Uh, should not have triggered this. Should not have triggered that. At all. That's five of these guys be charging up on us. These guys do quite a bit of damage. Alright, well, uh, part, top priority is closing the E-hole. Which means I need to open up an opportunity for her to not get shot by this guy. I mean, she's behind full cover, obstructions. I think I can get the gr grenade off, no problem. Ooh, planting a grenade. Is that different from... Yes. He could run up there, plant a grenade, and do that. It's a little bit tricky. It's going to take him like two action points to do that to kill maybe one or two of them. I think just getting him down is probably better. Ah, this is where I... This is where I'm not a big fan of, like, losing that base hit accuracy. Tan seems to be the absolute minimum. Okay. Hey. All right. Let's toss this in here. Because he's going to get... Yeah, he's in the range to get shot by these guys. Uh, target ally gets one action, does not target Overwatch. So I need to move you up to here. Not a great cover, but I need to move up here, up to here. No, not Overwatch. Disabling shot is removed, disabled at the moment. Alright, your one job is to deal with anything that crosses that threshold. With your two action points going to there. She's behind full cover. This needs to die. I cannot afford to have this up here. Yes, it's gonna cause somebody to shoot her. Uh, I'm here. Can I have him do anything about it? Not really. I'd love to get somebody up in this high ground for the damage bonus. These guys are on lockdown because he has two shots. Two shots. Because ah, they're blocking out that right, and we have more reinforcements coming our way. Ah. Okay now. I sound like I'm lamenting, ladies and gentlemen. I'm lamenting. I can't change saw because I'm gonna get interrupted. That's two crossfires going in here. Okay. Another okay. grenade. Incoming shots. Here. Raised. No more reinforcements. His Overwatch shot is down. 62, 38. So, you think you're flanking me? I am flanking you. Great idea? Not really. Do I have a better one? Not at the moment. What can she do from this position? 29, 18. Got a bush. 62. Uh, I can never put two shots in here. I think I need to have... Because I don't know what this bonus is right here. I'd like to retain it and stay alive. But she got up there, did the, uh, blew up the E-hole. As long as another E-hole doesn't show up, life won't be too bad. I just need to get her away from getting shot by all these guys. And that's going to have... Okay. I'd rather not have her take any more shots. Okay. He's a full health. 62 into here. He's going to shoot us because he's flanking us, sadly. Please don't hit. Oh, hair trigger kicked off there. The 5%. The 5% did it. Oh, the game has been changed, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, how much, how much is this execution to cost us? Um... Way too bloody much. It does give two more action points to everybody in the group. It will leave him super exposed, though. And he does not get an action point for doing that. I, he could toss an empower off. I probably definitely need to toss an empower off to, you, to our friend here. Okay. She could move to the high ground. I know how I said I just want to get her out of danger and trouble. I can get her to the high ground. 
Let's do that. Not ideal with, you know, shotgun to do this. Oh! Ideal for the shotgun to do this. Please crit. That was beautiful, but yep. not a crit. Tossing the power on to... Him? He's already done. He's got three action points left. It's our hero. Do I... I go to the execution. She gets one more shot to go into him. He'll be flanking us, which is going to hurt. He gets another action point to probably move up here and try to do something about him. He gets another action point to just, you know, mow these guys down. Oh, do I go for it? It's super risky. Do I go for it? I need her to kill him. He gets removed. That's just a bunch of things I have a problem with. I think we go for the execution. I... I can do it from... Come on. Uh, 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 yes. Would you get me over here? Let's do this. Execution is so important in this game. Plus one action point to everybody else on the map. Plus one execution. That's an extra shot for him to kick off, which he has plenty of the chamber, I think, right? Can't check. Three action. Yep. All right. Scout reporting in. She gets the next one to shoot here. Oh. I need... This is a guaranteed kill. Let's go for the guaranteed kill. What can you do? There's five of them. He can kill three. I'm just going to do... The, I'm just going to reload and... What uh, was evasion? Yeah, let's just do 40% evasion. Won't trigger Overwatch. He needs the evasion right now. Hunkered down. And the rest of what I'm going to do on my turn is just shoot anything that comes through this, this opening. Hopefully they don't shoot each other. And you're going to shoot down there. Oh! Should have done that first. It's another execution. Oh, he's falling back. Miss. I was hunkered down. Third one. Anchorage. More da oh, and more damage. I thought it was, I was looking at the accuracy. Don't swipey. Swiper, no swiping. Goddamn That's right. a swiping. Okay. Not Showtime, people. great, but I think I have a turn to breathe. Step one. Okay, I need to get the heavy into this high ground now. She can't go down here and get this guy, sadly. Okay, I'm gonna go over to here. Am I? I need to get a, as much of a flank as I can on him. Shotgun is a close range weapon. Uh, don't want to have the, like anything between her and the target, but cover is really tempting as well. On the move. Let's go for that. Please don't get swiped by the little grub down there. Nope, she's moving over. I just like the target. Six percent chance to just murder this guy. Please murder this guy. Do I go for the murder or do I go for? Okay, I'm going for the murder. Six percent chance. Please. <laughs> That's not pleasing me. Okay. All right. Let's give her another action point. This is why we have this ability. Ready. Orders. And you're now just going to uh, interrupt his ability to shoot me. No, not Overwatch. This living shot is down. Number 10, 50% chance of hitting him even more. Well, uh, or we just go for the execution. She's the only one that can take him down, but at this point, we tried to do the disabling. It did not work in the slightest. So, I guess we just go for the execution at this point to try to help him out. He's in a lot of trouble. He uh, he has a grenade that he can use on himself. He's getting flanked, though. 
Not a great solution. Right. Any more solutions I can add to my uh, problems right now? Ah, uh, look. It's gunned you down, I guess. Only thing I can think of right now is getting the heavy into this bunker to shoot down at this guy. How'd I do this? Well, that'll do. Gonna go hit sawing this guy in two. You, my friend. You get up here. That's three out of three. If I get the execution off for her, he gets an extra shot to remove this guy from the problem. Anchoring lost, I know, I know. Scout on standby. Let's have her do the execution here. Come on, I want to get to that corner. Can I get to the corner? No, okay. Oh. Let's try to get to the corner there. And punch, 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 punch. With the gun to the face, head explodes. Execution is down. He will interrupt us. Uh, yeah. So what I need you to do is A, mulch him. B, interrupting shot. This saving shot has such a long cooldown. 65% chance we murder him. Let's, uh, let's go for it. Please be nice to me, game. That is the opposite of being nice to me, game. Um, heals and revives people in the area. I have to heal myself. Disabling shot. Well, you can do enough damage to finish him off right now. I have a lancer I could do to, like, saw him in half. 50% survivors remaining. Okay. Sid, um... I mean, we can have you just shoot this guy, which is a pretty big priority on my list. Actually, have you use the mini, your baby gun? Eighty percent chance of the murder. Good. Dropped him. Sid doesn't have everything else for us. Him. Do I think he'll die from this guy? If I need to saw him, how much do I need to get over there? I need two to get over there. Here's the plan. Sim grenade on my body. I wish she was actually a little bit closer. Now that I think about it. Please heal. It's gonna trigger. Don't kill! Damn! Second win. Heal revives and gives one action point. Won't trigger Overwatch. <sighs> Alright. Think I'm good. Not great on my part. Unfortunately, I don't have enough to actually go over and saw him now. And now she's in open fire. Man! Uh, I was, I've been very, very, very unlucky for most of this fight here. A lot of testing, a lot of retrospects on here. Who? this is uh, not a great time to learn, but this is the time to learn. So he definitely did enough damage to damage us, and it, no matter where I move, I need to get him to keep looking at me right now. So I have one shot right now. Fortunately, I can't keep him locked down. And this shot, if this shot had fired... Mm, life would have been so much better. I could 15% grants to, to hit. Leave myself exposed and opened. Yeah. I could go for cover, but then I don't want him to like down my scout as well. I'm out. Loco's not on my side. He's moving up there, going for the scout. The scout's gonna get go down. No, scout did not go down. Game. Well, oh, that was my breathing period. Four of these guys. Oh, you mean six more of these guys. Ooh. Well, you're getting executed because I need all my ter my skills to get uh, cooled down. Do I move here first and grab this? Forge, you're about, you're about to die. You want to move here and grab this? Yeah. Pick this guy up. And we saw this guy. To, because, yes, it only takes one action point to saw him. I 
right shot. Which is going to be to use the command to heal everybody else. She's not she's not downed, just really, really hurt. There's a difference, I think. Okay, can you shoot them from where you are? Actually, what's your range look like? Garbage, because you have this pillar in your way. All right. You're going to be losing your Overwatch status, buddy. Or Anchorage. And then I need you, because they're going to be coming around this way, to just mow them down when they get close. Bring it on. I'm ready. Um. Well, first of all, we need to have you reload. Lock and load. And do I have her sneak around and just go for this loot box? I think I do. I really don't want her in the fight any more than necessary. She's not going to level up much of this fight, but I want her to bloody live from the fight. So let's let's just get her out of the way for now. Reporting in. And you, my friend, um, I want them to go to the to like this kill zone right here. So let's just have you reload Ready this turn. Awaiting orders. Yeah, you need to run. Ah, run and get up here. Okay. Get up here. Gonna give him some uh, nice vision and then just gun all of them down. This high ground seems to be just the uh, just end end all be all end all of everything. I've got Overwatch. Hopefully, three of them die. You guys, I, I was going to have to take some time to worry about. Oh, that's only one of two of them dead? Okay, you're hunkered. Oh, yep, nope, that was only one of them dead. How are my grenades looking? Four turns. Now. Oh, I'm a moron. I could have planted a grenade at his feet and do that. I did. Mm. I thought it was on cooldown. All right. What's well, five dead? Wrong frag. Glorious. And now for you. Don't think I need to really worry about the uh, cover because I don't think I'm gonna have anybody going up and trying to murder him. But she can't be stealth for a little bit longer. Awaiting orders. You need to reload, because right, you've been doing a great job all fight long. Don't have anybody else tell you otherwise. Many, many mistakes were made this fight. I need to get your anchorage shots up and running. One. Two. I'm definitely going to cloak her. So I don't want them seeing where she's at. This is... I think the scout class is going to be a hidden gym that I'm going to look forward to trying to see okay, now. what she like turns into down the road, like some kind of like stealth assassin kind of vibe is what I'm getting off of her so far. No more empower this turn. I like this ability. I think it's a very, very, very good ability to grab. Um, have have a speed here. here. You're going to yep. watch. You're going to overwatch. Yeah. Everyone, look sharp. Everybody gets an overwatch. Hunkering is gone. <laughs> nice try, try That's two executions right there we can pull off. Move, oh, the interruption is beautiful. For the queen. Right. Grenade's down, grenade's down, grenade is not down. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you do not hunker in a pack. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh! Okay. Yeah. Roger that. Let's go pick this up. Ours now. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. Who? Yep. Now. Who had the grenade? Heavy? Heavy. All right. Where was I talking about? Yes. Ah. Oh. Not gonna lie. 
I thought we were gonna die. Oh. Push the bunker. Now this. Ukon's wiping out the mop-up crews. Uh oh. This guy's new. What the emulsion? He didn't kill all of them. Drag marks. You sure they're alive? Dead bodies don't kick. If those gears are lucky, TACCOM should pick them up. Mm hmm. Sound of agreement? <laughs> Think of those subtitles there. Oh. I didn't get a common case, but I retrieved two other common cases and got a rare case off that. 3% accuracy bonus on a precision sight, 15% more power on a common power barrel, yes. Passive skill disrupt on an impact barrel, yeah, absolutely, man. We made so many mistakes in that mission, but if you can just, if you just know what you're getting into, your life is going to be so much easier. Sid even leveled up, really. 14 kills for Sid. Yeah, oh, I, yeah, he did get quite a few uh, grenade kills going on that one. So, he, yeah, Uncle Sid has gone up to uh, rank 3. Probably need to spread out the level a little bit more for these classes, especially this one, I think, is going to be a popper once we can get, you know, more stealth stuff going for her. That flanking, like, that high ground, so important, guys. Grab that early on in that camp, in that area. Do not do what I did. Marcella joined the cop. Uh, scout class is done. New cosmetic options are available. Tyrone, heavy class, now, now available. Let's grab our rewards now, why don't we? <sighs> Loot box for the rare. Cog armor, heavyweight. You're gonna get 10% damage reduction, 20% more health. 15, yeah, 15 damage on the Lancer. Yes, please. Thank you. And retro Lancer mod, 5% more crits. Go to our barracks and check these guys out. Gabe did not level up. Sid, the paladin. Primer for you modification. So you have a 5% crit. Oh, passive hair trigger. This saved our lives. I'm not going to lie, but that 5% chance. Yeah, whatever you use a shoot action, you have a 5% chance to shoot the same target again. Oh, just automatic. Okay. Versus a 5% crit chance? Yeah. I mean, 5% is not great. Versus just passive. Always 5% crit chance whenever. I don't like relying on crit chance. That's, that's just what's going to get me killed really often. But I think it's better. It's just a guaranteed always having that 5% crit chance versus just you're going to use it again. Plus our ammo mod is down. I'm removing that, by the way. Like, that... I, I, I know the accuracy is nice, but no. I need every round inside our gun to do, you know, everything. Real for you. Hair trigger did save her life, but the just guaranteed 15 more damage is nice. I, I I always prefer the guaranteed stuff over just RNG. Uh no, that's why it's all red. You're gonna get checked out. Sights for her. More precision? Yes. And 15 more damage. Not as impressive. I mean, it's you know 350 to 365 versus this one, which is like the percentage wise is not as high, but I'm not gonna complain. Heavy disrupt. Charles this weapon unit will knock back the target even more than it already does. I mean I could knock him out of cover. Look at that barrel. Big barrel, little barrel. Big barrel, little barrel. But cool. I mean, if you can knock him out of cover, that's absolutely fine by me. Uh L and grenades. Oh, stem grenades for you. Lower. Heavyweights. You gain 10% damage reduction. I think... What does she have? Because she's always going to be in the front line. I... Ironically for the scout, the lightest class... Actually, let's give her evasion. It just makes sense in my head for a scout to have evasion. 
being agile and all that. Swap with Gabe. And then Gabe, I'm going to give you the heavyweights. Because these are all rare. Okay. Wait. Does she have evasion? She has evasion. 0 to 1, 0 to 1. I wish you would show me that other people are wearing these. Oh, wait, no. You have 0 out of 1 available. All right. So even though he is a he is a heavy, I'm not I'm going to put it on more of the front line kind of guys cuz he's pretty safe. I'm not going to lie. Uh and you have your upgrades, my friend. So let's grab your skill tree. All right. Leech would have been a bit more at her if it had actually kicked off. So Alice within within 8 meters of you going to get that activated. Another passive, enemy struck by this unit's shoot ability gets weakened status effects. Units with weakened get, temper, get temp, deal temper, less temper. Eh! My words, it's like at the end of my recording session, I can't even talk. Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, uh, target enemy will try to attack this unit on next turn, does not affect bosses. Do I just go for Warden instead? Deals negative 50% damage, real attack says it does not affect bosses. Not a big boss one, I know. All I've heard is bosses are really, 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 really deadly in this game, so don't know. Negative 75% damage reduction gets the first attack. I'm gonna pick up disruption, and that's it. That's that's all I'm gonna take. I like that the disruption on our warden. That way, if you know, say Gabe's out of cover or whatnot. He's not gonna like we can just have it refocus back to him in the background might be a range to that It is another passive I could just pick up. I'm gonna pick up the passive. Yeah, a little bit all over the place I will grab the regeneration and then rally Next time around love the lifesteal would be very useful on other guys, but yeah, it's a lot of passes on Sid Uncle Sid's being a powerhouse right now So that's what we're going in, going into there I'll do a little customization on the other two in the, in the meantime. Missions, though, we will be jump, jumping into Rough Justice in the next one, guys. And I will see you then. Until then, guys.